there's a guy you like and you've been hanging out more and talking more but he's still not asking you out darling you got friend zoned yes women get friend zoned as well and that's what we will talk about in this video my love welcome so much to my channel whether you're returning or if it's your first time my name is Magda Kay. I am an intimacy expert, Tantra teacher, and a conscious relationships coach. And I am so excited that you're here because this is such, a, such an interesting topic that I don't see many people talk about. But the truth is that just as much as men make mistakes and they try to get a woman by building friendship with her first, as women, we also make a similar mistake and we think that we can get a man through becoming their friends. So today is about how not to be friend zoned by a man. So the reason why I wanted to record this video is the conversation I had with my friends a few weeks ago. So we have our weekly steak nights and a girl asked one of the guys whether he would want to have sex with me. And he said, no, because we're friends. And I had a similar conversation with a guy years ago and he told me that when he first met me, he fancied me, but then we became friends. So he just started looking at me differently. And so this inspired me to talk about this idea of women getting friend zoned. Because if you like a guy, you gotta play the game in a smart way. Because if you do a few mistakes, yeah, he will just look at you as a friend and then it's gonna be very difficult, if not impossible, to change the dynamic. So it happens so often. I see so many women losing a chance with a guy they like just because they focused on building the friendship. You know, and then they spend more and more time with this guy, nothing is happening, and then suddenly this other woman shows up, they hardly know each other, and they start dating. Like, what? How? Well, I'm gonna tell you how. See, if you wanna be lovers with a man, if you want a romantic relationship, then you have to activate his sex center. You don't want him to just look at you as a fun, friendly woman. He needs to look at you also as a sexual object. And how do you do that? Well, by activating your sexual energy. Now, you can do this through how you dress, and we've all seen this. It does work on men. If you look sexy, men react. But that's not the only way, and in fact, a much more exciting and long-lasting is if you know how to stimulate him mentally. So this is about acting in a certain way that he asks himself a question. What would it be like to have sex with you? So he needs to become curious. He needs to start wonder. What are you like? How does your body look like naked? How do you kiss? How does your skin feel? So I want to share with you a few tips how you can create this energy with someone you like to make sure that you don't end up being friend zone and lose your chance. The first one is be sensual. Now first I need to talk to you about what sensual actually means. The word sensual comes from the word sense, right? Our senses. So sensual is about using our senses. So we use the senses for everything. Uh, we use the senses to eat, to talk to a friend, when you take a shower. And being sensual means allowing yourself a deeper experience through your senses. In other words, allowing yourself pleasure from the things that you do. Now that really works on men because they can see that you are a woman who enjoys pleasure, who allows herself pleasure. So now he's getting really curious how much pleasure he can give you and how deeply can you drop with him. So what does it mean to be sensual? Well, imagine you're eating something. Can you slow down and truly and deeply enjoy the flavor of your food? When you're having your morning coffee, can you again slow down and really take it all in? The taste, the smell. And in fact, slowing down is kind of the secret how to become more sensual. So make sure that you are sensual in your life. First of all, that gives you more pleasure, feels amazing, but also make sure that you do it when you're around him so that he can see that you're someone who deeply enjoys life. Number two, be cheeky. 
like being cheeky shows that you're playful and fun but also smart courageous and open and these are all qualities we are looking for when it comes to choosing a good lover and a partner so none of us wants a boring sex life so when you show this side of yourself this feels really interesting to a man so what does it mean being cheeky well saying certain things that kind of show what game you are playing so let me give you an example so a few years ago in bali i was living in this villa complex and i knew a guy who was living in one of those villas and the bath in these villas the bath was outside and i personally in my villa had a lot of plants around it and sometimes we had those big spiders and i do not deal well with spiders so i was texting him one day and i said that i am afraid to take a bath in my villa because of the spiders he's replying well come over and use mine and i just replied cheeky and then we started flirting why because well first of all he was cheeky to start with but i kind of called him up on this and when i did he was like oh okay now this is the game that she's playing so let's go for it right if i responded something like oh i don't know maybe oh no i don't think it would be appropriate right if i, if I didn't pick on his cheekiness and just kind of try to be politically correct or polite or friendly then the energy would drop but i picked it up I was cheeky together with him and we had incredible flirtous conversation. Now I actually have another video where I talk about this one specific sentence that's my all time favorite when it comes to being cheeky and it's something that can be used both by men and women because in fact I know about the sentence because a man used it on me and it totally got me hooked on him so you're gonna see the link to that video somewhere here <laughs> so check it out if you want to learn more about how to be cheeky in how you communicate with men number three and it's he needs to know that he has a chance with you so you know no one likes being rejected i think like sometimes women expect men to just be so courageous and approach a woman it's like why won't he ask me out for the same reason why you are not asking someone out it's because it's freaking scary okay no one likes to put themselves out there like that and then hear a no so he is also mindful like he has his ego and his pride so you gotta give him some signs so that he knows that he actually has a chance with you, right? You want to encourage him and show him that yes, it's okay to approach you. Now, especially if you started becoming friends, this is extra important because he's not gonna risk your friendship by asking you out. And especially if it's a group of friends, so you guys have common friends, even more reasons why he wouldn't do it. So you have to really make it clear to him that you're interested and that if he asks you out, it's gonna be a yes. Now that takes me to the last point, number four, and it's that you gotta give this guy like a special treatment. So yes, you want to show him that he has a chance with you, but you also wanna show that other men don't. So if you are naturally very flirty and cheeky, but you're like this with everyone, that he's gonna think that it has nothing to do with him. He's not gonna understand that you like him because he'll just assume, well, you're like this with everyone, right? There's nothing special about him. So it's important that you show this guy that yes, you like him and yes, you're interested and that you are not interested in other men. Like he needs to understand that the way he is treated is different from how you treat other men. Now what's important here is that you don't look at these things as tactics. It's not like a strategy, you know, that you need to script and then play. It should be natural. So how do you make it natural? Well, I'll tell you first of all that in the past I was absolutely horrible at flirting. I had no confidence. If a guy approached me and wanted to ask me out, I was so intimidated. And if I liked a guy, I would be even more intimidated. I would avoid him. I would not be able to look at him. And guess what? Yeah, nothing ever happened. But what I started doing is going on my personal path of sexual healing because I wasn't having orgasm. I was shut down sexually. There was some energy of abuse that I really wanted to look at, understand and release. And I was doing a lot of work. And then suddenly it's like one day something clicked, something shifted. 
and like literally overnight I became extremely confident around men because when a woman unlocks the flow of her sexual energy you become more confident you become more radiant more charming it's like it's not only you flirting it's your sexual energy flirting because your sexual energy by nature is very playful like she loves flirting she loves men and women so it's about opening this energy to flow through your body to move freely through your body and trust me she's gonna take care of everything and so this is why it's so important for women to really connect to their sexuality to really connect to their pussy to their juiciness because that impacts how you're perceived by other people and how you present yourself to the world so if this is something that you feel like you really want to do like if you can recognize that your sexuality is not open it's not liberated if you feel that there is some shame or some old stories some resistance if you feel there's contraction then let's talk more because this is what I do with women with my one-on-one -on -one clients we were exactly on this on opening the body opening the energy helping you feel yourself more letting go of these old stories that do not serve you and help that incredible sexual juicy queen out because she is inside of you it's your essence and maybe you haven't seen her yet maybe you haven't felt her yet but she is there and oh my goodness trust me she cannot wait to finally come out and be free when I went through my journey and when I finally saw what my sexuality truly is it's like it's like I like this heaviness was lifted from my body you know it's like I realized that I was hiding until then it's like I was hiding under this huge winter coat and I finally dropped it and I could reveal myself and this is when my relationships with men changed so if you would like to look at this together if you would like my assistance helping you open your sexuality so then you show up in your best juicy way with men and don't get friend zone ever again then apply for a free consultation you are going to find the link below this video or go to www.magdakay.com apply it's a free consultation for us to talk more what's happening in your life where you want to get and how specifically I can help you with this and love I hope that you enjoyed this video again enough of being friend zone okay it's time to get a guy that you enjoy and that you like now if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and if you would like more videos like this make sure to subscribe to my channel click the little bell icon so you get notified when a new video comes out and let's connect on Instagram as well. This is a more informal place. I love sharing insights from my life. I post something practically every day and I would love to see you there as well. My love, thank you so much and I hope to see you next week. Bye.